Okay, this next question that I'll be answering was from somebody called like Extractish or something like that. It was a weird name. If you're watching this video, I hope you're watching this video because you sent me this question like two months ago and I have yet to answer it. Well, I'm answering it now. Uh, and I said that it would and I was like, that's what I want you to do. Send me questions and I'll make YouTube videos. And it's like, I never did it. What? Well, I'm doing it now. So the question was, I don't know if you recall who, you who sent it. I look so awesome like this. The question was, what was my absolute worst day of work? <laughs> I just read it and I thought, how can I pinpoint one day? Just one single day. The truth is I can't. I don't know what my worst day was because it seems like every time I have a bad day at work, that becomes the worst day. So technically the video I have, two videos prior to this, or three videos, whichever one where I'm talking about Outback, uh, the wireless connection video, that, that's where I talk about a horrible day at work, and that would uh, technically be, that would technically be my worst day on the job. But there is a couple days that I can, uh, that I can remember, and that I can bring to you as a, uh, as a note, just to let you know exactly what's happened. Oh, I'm drowning! Yum! Oh dear. Let me put it back on the setting I like. So there's, uh, oh, there's a, uh, there's, uh, enough of the stupid accent. Um, Core Systems, although also known as Hell, is a place I used to work. It's an injection molding plant. <laughs> In this ob objection and molding plant, that's what I was about to say. Objection and molding. What does that even mean? Is, is in molding even a word? I know objection is. That's something in the courthouse. Anyway, I would come down with the flu. This was recent, uh, shortly before I quit. Came down with the flu. And I went into work, and they had me doing this uh, screwdriver thing where I put screws in these windows, and I screwed them in. And it was the worst night of, like, my life at the moment. Because the way I had to sit, my neck was killing me. I had a splitting headache, and I couldn't focus on what I was doing. And I had to, I had to be real, you know active with this part and I had also had to pull off these foam things these foam sheets and rip them off and like set them up so that they could package them and everything it was washer and dryer doors I believe and I just I, I, I the night went on and on and on and I, it just never stopped and all I could think about was I just want to walk out the door that's all I wanted to do but I wouldn't do it and that's a part of my work ethic the fact that I want to do my job well no matter what and I remember, I remember my supervisor at the end of the night, one of my supervisors, there was a couple by this time, because all the, everything had shifted, one, I got one guy fired, this, that, and the other, and he deserved it anyway, so, because he was trying to blame me for parts that he sent out that were pieces of crap, and I had said they were, and he realized, oh, he was right, so he's like, well, he sent them out, so I ended up writing a lot of letters and notes, and eventually he got fired for it. Anyway, so this other guy who, uh, he looked kind of like an old... Uh, grumpy Charlie Sheen, and uh, he walks up to me, and he, he, I don't know what it was, for some reason he and I always had problems with each other, like half the time we were just joking, but, but when we got into a fight, we got into a fight, we're talking, you could hear us screaming throughout the whole place, and this wasn't just a quiet place, it was like, <laughs> like really loud noises, where you had to wear earplugs, and you could hear us from one end to the other, and this was like a football field sized building, so... He comes up to me, and mind you, I already have it in my head. I know I'm quitting. I know I'm leaving because I was already told that if I kept calling off, I was getting fired. And I'm like, I am sick. I'm ill. I'm physically unable to work every night because I need, my body needs rest. That's what you have to do when you're sick. And you guys are having, they were having me work seven straight days a week. And think about it, seven straight days a week, overnights, you never get any sleep that way. You never get any real rest. You end up like... You go to sleep, wake up, go to work, go to sleep, wake up, go to work. There was like no recreational time at all. So it was driving me crazy. So finally, this guy walks up to me and I, and I have my head on the desk. I'm laying down because I, my head's pounding and the machine's off for a moment. And I'm not going to stand up and start sweeping and doing other work. I'm taking a little nap while I'm waiting for the machine to t turn back on. And he walks up to me and ever so like angrily says, We're not keeping you awake, are we? And I just looked at him. I, I just, I, I didn't want to hear his uh, voice. Mmm, mmm. Yum.
，我们。Back to the cotton candy man. Hi. Um. Dang. There's chocolate, chewy, crunchy things. I can't get them out. What's up? I. I. What was I just talking about? Oh, the worst work experience. So. I can't particularly think of one specific, one specific D, one specific D, my lad. I can't. So I guess that's that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make another video before I uh, end this evening of YouTube.